Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today I want to talk about the law of attraction and what I have learned so far and ways that we can apply the law of attraction so that we can win. Because that's the goal for 2018 is to win together. So everything that I learn, I'm telling. Because at the end of the day, I don't want success to be a secret. I want to literally win together. So where did all this start for me? Recently, I was listening to an old episode of Oprah when The Secret had just come out and it was this huge thing and she had a bunch of guest speakers um, on that episode, one of whom was Lisa Nichols, who is my favorite motivational speaker. And um, so to me, that was just like a, a sign that maybe this is something I need to start focusing on. And through the episode, they were talking about the law of attraction. And one of the most important things that I got from it was that the law of attraction works both ways. It works for your good and it works for your demise. For example, if you feel like I'm always going to be broke, I'm always going to be overweight, I suck at being healthy, I suck at relationships all men are dogs, that's what you're going to attract into your world. And even if it's, even if it's something like, I don't want to be broke anymore, the universe doesn't focus on what you're feeling about that, which is, I don't want. It's focusing on the subject of the sentence, which is being broke. So that's what you're going to continue to attract. So instead of saying, I don't want to be broke anymore, The suggestion is to focus on saying things like, I want to be financially stable. I want to have financial freedom. I want to live a life where I can enjoy the financial responsibilities that I have. I want to be able to travel on a quarterly basis. I want to live a life that's free from obligation. I want to live a life of financial wealth, things like that. And really and truly, so one example of that is, and it opened my eyes completely because what you focus on will grow. And I've always believed that. The grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it, point blank, period. So if you're focusing on something, that's what will continue to grow. So an example of that is... If a woman comes home and says, I'm tired of all this chaos in my house. My kids are always fighting. I'm so frustrated with my husband. This and the third. You immediately picture the chaos, the kids fighting, the husband that's not really involved in the family or actively a part of the family. That's the picture that comes to your head. But if you say something like, I cannot wait to have a house of peace. I would love to come home to my kids playing peacefully together, enjoying a good book, a husband who cooked dinner, you know, ready to have a romantic evening together. The kids go to bed at nine. We have from nine to 11 to ourselves. Like you immediately picture what that looks like and what you focus on will grow really and truly. So I've decided that one of my current focuses is the law of attraction. And actually, when I went to Bible study this past Tuesday, he preached on the power of your words. And it's one of those things where science and God align. Because even when you listen to the the verse that says, the life and death are a power of your tongue, Proverbs 18, 21, I believe, um, But really and truly, you have the ability to claim life or death over yourself. And the universe will align. If you think all men are dogs, that's what you're going to get. If you think you suck at relationships, you're going to suck at relationships. If you think you're horrible with your finances, that's what it's going to be. And I'm using these examples because at the end of the day, these are the things that I've used to say about myself. 
I used to be quick to say, I suck at money. I suck with finances. My mom's an accountant. How could it be possible that I suck with my financial management? I make all this money, but I don't know how to manage it. Instead, I said, you know what? I'm going to commit to being better with my financial management. I'm going to commit and I'm going to make a financial commitment to be a part of a financial accountability group. I'm going to structure my finances. I'm going to be intentional with my finances because, again, what you focus on will grow. So the moment that I begin to focus on productively using the money that I have, the more it will grow. The more I focus on my business and how to improve and how to develop and how to grow as a business owner and how to be better as a development coach and how to be a more engaged motivational speaker and how to be a more productive author, the more it'll grow. The more I focus on the friendships that I do have, the relationships that I do have, focusing on bettering the relationship with myself, the more I'll begin to attract the right kinds of people in my life. That's it. That's all. So for me, it's really a matter of choosing to say, you know what? Today's going to be a good day. And what was crazy was the day I was watching the, or listening to this episode of Oprah, I was driving to work. Listening to, I did say that. Driving to work. And when I pulled up to the parking lot, I said, you know what? Today is going to be a good day. And I text my best friend that too, because her and I are very aligned. So I was like, listen, we're having a good day today. You know, because you got to get it in line with the people that you're connected to. Um, And I'll be damned. We both had a great day that day. And it was really, and it's not because things didn't happen. It's not because mishaps didn't take place. It's not because my coworkers didn't try to piss me off. It's not because my boss didn't frustrate me. It was because I decided I'm having a good day. That's it. That's all. I'm going to have a good day. And I did. Another way that I've, in retrospect, realized that the people you're connected to have the ability to speak over your life, whether that's good or bad. So you have to have people in your corner that are speaking encouraging words over your life, that are going to speak motivating words over your life, that are going to say, you know what? That will work. You can do that. You will be successful in that. The moment you realize that you have people who are not um, speaking positively over your life, and it's not a matter of being a yes man or a yes woman, it's a matter of being positive and having a positive outlook, Um, you can be honest with people, but still be positive, if that makes any sense. Um, An example of how the reverse kind of happens. So when I was pregnant with my twins and I was having, um, everything was perfectly fine until it wasn't. And on my 25th birthday, I realized that my one son had died. The remaining son had issues with his brain as a uh, brain development as a result of the first miscarriage. Throughout my entire pregnancy, the father of my son, sons, continuously would say things like, I don't want anything to do with these kids. It was back and forth. So one day he wanted everything to do with us. Then the next day he wanted nothing to do with us. And the hurtful and harmful things he would say, um, like, I don't even want these kids. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't even know if these are my kids. Um, I wish I could take it back. All sorts of really bad things. And I realize now that even though I was full of faith and even though I knew that God could heal the remaining son, and honestly, I had faith that he could even bring my the deceased son to, to full term. I had that strong of a faith, but the person that I was connected to didn't. So even in the good moments, he didn't have faith. He was in a woe is me. Why does this always happen? I don't understand. Nothing like why would God do this to me? Blah, blah, blah. And then so that was in the good times. 
when we were good. But then when we weren't good, it was constant, like, malicious and vile things that he would say about me and our sons. And so at the end of the day, I had to learn that if I'm going to be connected to anybody, friends, relationship, family, any of that, if I'm going to be actively connected to anybody, you got to speak good too. You got to be positive too. Because at the end of the day, I cannot be positive for you. And your negativity could cost me something. And I don't have time for that. I really, really don't. So be careful about who it is that you're connected to and what energy they portray and learn to distance yourself from people who are constantly negative. It's not healthy for them. It's not healthy for you. And you just got to create that space regardless of who it is. Even if it's family that's constantly negative and constantly providing um just a downpour of what could go wrong or what might go wrong or why you shouldn't do this or learn to keep certain things to yourself. For example, when I know something big is coming, I will keep it to myself and I will only tell my best friend because I know she has an unbiased sense and she'll tell me the truth, but she's not constantly negative. So I'll keep it to myself until it's already in the works, until it's already happening, until I know that something's coming out of it. For example, when I was looking to publish my book, I didn't tell anybody until it was pretty much done. Because I didn't need anybody telling me what couldn't be done. I didn't need anybody telling me that I was getting ahead of myself. I was thinking too far ahead and that it was unrealistic simply because they hadn't done it themselves. I couldn't risk it. So I only told the people who were willing to say, let's do this. Let's get it done. It's possible for you. And that was that. So my challenge to you today is to take the time to say, you know what, it's going to be a good day and begin to look for the things to manifest. So if you want to have a good day, you have to claim it and you have to truly believe it deep in your heart. One more thing about the laws of attraction. So one of the things that one of the guest speakers on the Oprah show was saying was your thoughts, your feelings, And your actions all have to align with the statement. So you have to think it. You have to feel it in your heart. You have to agree with it deep in your soul. And you have to make the actions to take those steps. An example. My thoughts are, I'm learning to get my finances in order. I'm learning to be successful with my finances. I feel like I really can get this together. I feel confident in my ability to do so. And I feel like I'm going to master my finances by the end of this calendar year. My actions are, I signed up for an accountability group. I restructured my budget and I'm I'm making active steps to align with paying off my debt, saving, And in saving not only for my long term, but also saving for my fun. You can't just say, I'm going to have a good day and then say, "Hmm." why isn't it working? You can't just say, I want to have financial freedom and then continue to do the same thing. If you're going to use the laws of attraction, your thoughts your feelings, and your actions have to align with what you're claiming in the universe and the universe will deliver every single time. If you're going to have a successful relationship, your thoughts have to be aligned with a successful relationship. Your feelings have to be aligned with what it takes to have a successful relationship. Your actions have to do so as well. You can't Say you want to have a successful relationship, but then when someone comes and speaks to you, you're like, mm, I don't want. Mm, 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 mm. How how are you going to meet someone if that is your response? Even if that's not the person you want, and maybe it could be the person you want, 
You don't know because you're so close off to it. With that being said, my challenge to you, I want you to make a declaration and in the comments, make that declaration, whatever it is, I want to do this and do something that you can see manifested today. I want to have a good day. I want to have a positive conversation with this person. I want to be successful and productive at work. Whatever that declaration that is that you can see manifested today, write that in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts and I want to see the progress. So comment what that declaration is. And then at the end of the day, let's check back in. How did it go for you? How successful was that law of attraction? Did you see it manifest multiple times? Did you have an a, like a change? Like what did you see take place? I look forward to hearing it from you guys. Please comment below um, what that what that statement is that we're attracting into our day today. And then we'll kind of go from there. Thanks guys.